Oh, sorry. This was a prime example of procrastination. How do you explain procrastination? Typically, it's something to keep your mind busy so that you're not productive anymore. And let's be honest, we all reach a point where we do procrastinate our work. Some people procrastinate longer than others. But what are some of the reasons why we have procrastination? We as humans act a certain way because of something else. And most of the time, your procrastination has a reason. Maybe you fall under the category of, I'll do this task tomorrow. Sometimes you might think, oh, I don't want to go to the post office. I'll do it tomorrow. And then tomorrow comes and you do the same thing where you're like, oh, I don't want to go to the post office. I'll do that tomorrow. The process keeps repeating until this task never gets done. And the best part about finally doing your work is that you won't have to convince yourself that you'll do it tomorrow. If you just do what you have to do today, then you'll no longer be pushing this task off and it'll be over. Yesterday, you said tomorrow. So just do it. Make your dreams come true. Perhaps you're just clueless on how to start being productive. Maybe you're at this point where you've run into a wall and you have no idea how to start or what to do next with your task. And this is perfectly normal. My first advice is to try and change up your environment. Maybe you are working inside all day. Perhaps if you go outside and take your laptop with you or whatever task you're doing and bring it outside, you might have a different mindset to how you're thinking with this task. After changing your environment, perhaps you should start writing down what has worked and what hasn't worked. If you keep track of what has been successful and what hasn't, it might get you closer to the next step of accomplishing this task. Maybe you face low energy and you just don't have the drive to do your task. And this is something that can stem for a variety of reasons. Maybe it's because of how much sleep you've gotten, or maybe there's a lack of nutrition in your body. The easiest way to get more energy going for the next couple of days is to make sure you take care of yourself. You know, stay hydrated, eat healthy, get plenty of sleep, all that kind of stuff. Perhaps none of these things bother you and the fact that you have procrastination is because you're afraid to fail. Failing is never fun, but failure also means you're gonna learn from your mistakes. If we learn from our mistakes, we can try and get closer to being successful. Maybe you're procrastinating because you just don't enjoy what you're doing. Maybe you have to work because you need money, or maybe you have to do your schoolwork because you want a degree. But at the end of the day, you are your own person. And I know a lot of people might say, oh, you have to make this much money. Or maybe other people tell you that you have to further your education. But I'm here to remind you that it's your life. You can do what you want. If you don't like your job, go search for a new one. If you don't like the type of schoolwork you're doing, find a new school. And that's more work that you have to do and maybe that leads to more procrastination. But if you don't like your environment, change it. I know that answer is a really long and tedious one, but it's true. If you don't like your surroundings, you have to change it up and find something else. Maybe you have anxiety or you can't focus on your task. Anxiety can be a really loud voice in your head. And in order to try and call calm down that voice, you need to put yourself in a good mood and zone. Listening to music, breathing, these are all good ways to handle anxiety. If your anxiety is still really big, you can take a small break. Take five to 10 minutes by yourself. Step outside, get off your phone, don't have any distractions in front of you, and just kind of relax your mind and body. Everyone deals with anxiety differently, but these are some good useful tips you can use. The last example I have of why you might be procrastinating is because you're a perfectionist. Everything needs to be perfect with you. You have to look perfect, your work has to be perfect, because you think in your head, I am a perfect person, and everything I do is magnificent. No. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm gonna break the reality. You're not perfect. We all make mistakes, we all fail, and that's okay. That doesn't mean what you're working on isn't gonna be great and excellent. Of course it can be. But also, there are gonna be some flaws and things you can always improve on. I'm sure the video you're watching right now isn't perfect either. Maybe I've made mistakes with editing or how I've discussed the topic. I don't know. The only way we can get better at something is if we keep doing it and practicing. It takes some time to be really good at something. So it's really easy to procrastinate because we have a lot of things that we can we have a lot of things that can distract ourselves. In a world with really fast-paced technology where you can call someone, watch Netflix, there's tons of different excuses to keep you busy and not do your work. And we all suffer with this. We all face the same kind of problems. But make sure you try to ground yourself and focus on what you're doing. And the quicker you get your work done, the quicker you get to sit back and relax.